This week, you'll have the opportunity to check out several meteors making their way across the nighttime sky for Wednesday night and early Thursday morning as the peak of the Gemini meteor shower will be taking place. All you have to do is look up pretty much to the eastern part of the sky or right above, especially after midnight, and you'll see this constellation Gemini. That's where the meteors will most likely come from in that direction. That's known as the radiant. But anywhere across the sky, you will see a few meteors light up as you wait patiently because it's all about patience for this type of setup. First of all, let's talk about how this meteor shower develops because pretty much all meteor showers are due to a comet making its way across the Earth's orbit, leaving a trail of dust and debris. And as the Earth's atmosphere encounters that debris, it produces a light show because it burns up. This meteor shower is just a little bit different. It's not produced by a comet, but actually an asteroid. And coming from the constellation of Gemini, that's why it's known as the Geminids. The best time frame to check out this meteor shower will be after midnight and then going into sunrise on Thursday. But you'll still see a few meteors out there if you go out 8 or 9 o'clock Wednesday evening as long as skies are clear. Rule number one to watch any meteor shower is you got to get away from any city lights or any light whatsoever because light pollution will make for a weaker show. So out in the country or out in the wilderness is going to be the best locations. You don't need a telescope. You don't need binoculars. All you do is just use your eyes and once again, scan the sky back and forth. Relax and be patient. You got to be out there for about 15 to 30 minutes so your eyes can adjust to the darkness. And a good idea is just have a star party. Invite some friends over, have some hot cocoa to keep you warm because it is going to be cold. But at least you don't have mosquitoes to worry about and just get comfortable. Lay down a blanket, get a sleeping bag, get comfortable, get warm and just watch in the skies for about 30 minutes to an hour. If you want to do more, that's perfectly fine because the longer that you're out there, the more meteors you'll likely see. A meteor doesn't last very long though. If you blink, you can miss it because they only last a few seconds. But some meteors will be very short and it'll be like, did I see one? And other meteors will be with a long tail possibly. And that will certainly get your attention. And those are the ones that you'll remember. So how many meteors can you expect in your location per hour? Well, here's the breakdown in the city, one to 10. And honestly, I would lean more towards the one to two number In the suburbs a little bit more 10, maybe as many as 25 per hour in the country, 20 to 60 meteors per hour. So if you're watching us in Perry County or maybe in a Drew County, uh, South Arkansas, North Central Arkansas, you'll see more closer to 40, 50, 60 meteors per hour. And then in, in those ideal darkness areas, the Buffalo wilderness, flat side wilderness in the Washita's where there's no light, you'll see probably 50 to over 100 meteors per hour. If you're really lucky, the Geminids are a very dependable meteor shower. I look forward to this every single year. The only question is one, will skies be clear and two, will there be any moon interference? And this year, just like the Perseids, there's no moon to be concerned about because the crescent moon sets at 532 in the evening. So this is going to be a great show right now. The forecast does show the potential. We could see some high clouds, especially early Wednesday evening, but I'm hopeful those clouds will clear out and will be left off with mostly clear skies going into early Thursday morning, late Wednesday night time frame. So good luck. Enjoy the show for THV 11. I'm meteorologist Nathan Scott.